Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss about the embedded expression. Let me explain that with an example. In case of the post request, we are sending the request body and all the properties value are hard coded. So this is our request body. Now let us assume that I want to use the variable instead of using the hard coded value in the request body. So let me create two variable. One is for the job ID and second one is for the job title. And I'm going to replace the value with the variable name. So during the runtime, Karate framework will not know whether this is a property value or it's a variable name. So in such situation, we use the embedded expression. Embedded expression are way of telling that this is a variable and Karate framework has to resolve its value. So the syntax of defining the embedded expression is pound key, open and close bracket, and within the bracket, you need to specify the variable name. So this is the embedded expression. Similarly, for the second variable, this is the expression. Now in the JSON data or the XML data, you just need to replace the property value with this expression. And during the runtime, the Karate framework will able to resolve its value. This is called as embedded expression. Now let me show you this with an example. So inside our same feature file, I'm going to create the duplicate copy of this scenario and update its title. Then after the given statement, I'm going to create a variable. And this will be the implementation of JavaScript function that is going to return the random integer value. And then I'm going to use this variable inside the body. So this is called as embedded expression. During the runtime, Karate framework is going to resolve this value before creating the complete request body. And let me go ahead and run the runner. As you can see here, the value of the job ID property is being replaced by the random value and that random value is being generated by the JavaScript function. In the similar manner, you can use the embedded expression for the XML data also. So let me create a copy of this scenario. So after the given statement, I'm going to define a JavaScript function that will give me the random value for the job ID. So as we are doing the validation on the job ID, so I will create one more variable that will store the value of job ID. And then use this job ID as an embedded expression in the request body. And I can use the same here also for the validation. Now, as you can see here, when I use the embedded expression with the JSON data, I need to specify them in the single quotes. But in case of XML data, you don't need to use the single quotes. You can just specify the embedded expression directly. Now, let me go ahead and run this runner. So our scenario is passing and 
this is the random value which is getting generated as well as our matcher is also able to match the job id from the response so in this manner you can use the embedded expression to use the variable inside the xml data or the json data